Hi Shima girls! I am back yet again! Well, this is going to be a video in which I'm going to address, you know, success tips that will, you know, continue to help you on your Shima hair growth journey to your fairy to mythical hair length dreams. And with that said, uh, the first thing I would like to address is depression. Um, basically because this is a real life issue which, you know, unfortunately some of us are dealing with. And if we don't tackle that first, then, you know, how are we going to get inspired to, you know, even think about growing our hair longer, you know, longer than shoulder length. So I want to tackle that first, you know, and I'm not a doctor or any of that, but I still like to motivate, you know, people. And I want like to motivate my Shima girls. You know, I, I want to do everything that I possibly can to keep you ladies motivated. So I'm going to address it first, and then I'm going to, you know, provide some inspiring, um, you know, quotes and messages towards the end of the video, you know, to, you know, continuously keep you inspired after I discuss a little bit of this um, depress depression situation. And, well, I think that one of the most common reasons for depression is um, a lack of interest and in activities. You know, we allow the depression to become our interest. We allow the depression to become our activity. And therefore, we need to replace the depression with an actual interest and activity. You know, something that we enjoy. So tell that depression, you're not going to take over my joy anymore. You tell that depression, you're not going to take over my thoughts anymore. You tell that depression, you're not going to take over my life anymore. Starting today, all right? Starting today, you know, you're going to take a painting. You know, if you if you love painting or if painting was a favorite pastime of yours, you know, visit that again. Take a painting. Um, you know, if, if you want to beautify your bedroom with, you know, s you know, your favorite wallpaper, whether it be sunflowers or anything you like, any design you like, you know, get busy, you know, doing that. Wallpaper your bedroom or your living room. You know, that, that you know, that would definitely... Um, take time to do and at the same time you're concentrating on decorating your bedroom or your living room with your favorite wallpaper you know um, to kick that negative person out of your life you know ignore that negative person until you can get somewhere better in your life you know tell yourself today I am a new me <laughs> and also don't refer to your depression with the word depression or with the word depressed. Replace it with something like, you know, you're going through a low mood. Remember that our minds, our brains is a very, very powerful organ. And certain words, you know, when we say them, especially we say them over and over again, it's like speaking them into reality. So like when you say, oh, I'm so depressed. Or, you know, um, oh, I am going through such a bad depression now. You have basically spoken it into reality. The depression becomes even more real than it was, you know. And this is especially because this, this word, the word itself, depression, it, it has too many negative connotations, too, too many negative baggage attached to it. And, um, for example, it is immediately associated with um, negative things like, Oh, she overdosed on painkillers or she overdosed on pain medication because she was depressed. Oh, she contemplated suicide due to depression. She committed suicide due to depression. Okay, they don't, uh, on the news, they're not going to say due to the fact that she was going through a low mood. You never hear that. Okay, it's always depression, you know, she was depressed, he was depressed, you know, it's always that word depression, it has too many negative, you know, connotations attached to it. So again, replace it with words like, I'm going through a low mood, all right, and basically, let's take the word depression, that negative, dangerous word out of our vocabulary today, okay, and other things that you can do, you know, to liven up uh, your life is listen to you know music if i feel sad for whatever reason i you know i put on my favorite music especially by my favorite artist michael jackson <laughs> he his music always up uplifts me you know um you know I, that's what i do I, I listen to to his music until you know i am not feeling sad anymore and before you know i'm not feeling sad anymore 
So yeah, and you know, and also my 80s music, and that's what makes me happy. I start listening to my favorite music. So you know, I, I, I recommend that for you as well if you are going through a low mood, all right? Or if, or if you're basically just feeling sad, listen to your favorite music. And remember in past videos I've spoken about, you know, the second you feel any type of sadness, you know, start exercising because, you know, once your body, you know, starts heating up, you know, that, that kills it. That kills the sadness, the, uh, those sad emotions in your body before you know it. So, you know, start walking. Take a, a brisk walk. You don't have to do anything too heavy. Know, take a brisk walk, you know, and and at the same time, put on your, you know, your earphones and listen to your favorite music while you're taking that brisk walk, okay? And so, again, don't give your energy to negativity in life. You know, you're only here once, you know, let's make the best of it. And well, with that said, I now leave you with these powerful, inspiring quotes, and I hope that they inspire you as much as they've inspired me. And well... That's it, and God bless you, lady. Take care, and you are special, and don't you ever forget that.